So many people seem to struggle to find one passion altogether. You should try to find multiple passions. I have more than one, and I don't think I should be exceptional. I'm passionate about teaching. If I see someone who's dumb, I want to make them not dumb. I'm so crazy that everything for me is a teaching moment. I also love economics, the power of the marketplace to explain things, the power of economic principles to explain the charitable world, the fact that if you don't understand economic principles, you're going to fail, because the only thing that will save you is luck. I love the power of technology to change our lives. Technology is such a wonderful set of potentials. I'm a farm kid. All farm kids understand the power of technology to make our lives easier and to increase the productivity of everyone. Finding one's passion is often very hard work, but there's no doubt about it at all. And recognize it's going to take time and recognize it's not something you find by walking in the middle of a field trying to wait for a thunderbolt to hilt your head and then suddenly think, yo I now know I'm interested in chemistry or something first you want as rich a set of personal experiences as you possibly can some of you get by reading you know reading real reading um, and you're reading for a purpose trying to identify a subject and you're going to identify it when you discover you want to keep reading because the subject just grabbed you and took you forward. The ultimate rule is the mind cannot stop thinking about that which it loves. The other thing you do is talk to people. Usually this is very scary. People older than yourself. And the reason is very simple. That older people have more experiences. Do you realize that one of the problems, the amount of time young people spend with old people has been in long-term decline for half a century. Young people spend more and more time with each other and less and less time with older people. I don't just mean their parents, I mean their parents, their grandparents, their aunts, their uncles, family, friends. So more and more young people hurt together. The only problem with that is, I don't mind that you want to have a social life with your age contemporaries. The only trouble is your age contemporaries don't have more experience than you do. And so you want to be with people who have more diverse experiences. If any vague family member is introduced as, here's, you know, Sue Ann, she's a psychiatrist. Put them down and say, so, Sue Ann, what do you like about being a psychiatrist? It must be creepy to have to deal with all these nutcases. And find out what the person says. You're at universities. There's people with wide range interests. Your age contemporaries. Some of them do have range experiences. Some of them are farm kids. Some of them have come from very strange parts of the world. Some of them come from violent, dangerous parts of the world. Make sure you talk about that stuff with them, not just who's having the party tonight. Because that also puts ever going to happen.